thing in my house. There's an ant biting me. Oh. It's a simple idea that nobody else thought of to help everybody in the world. That the U log stands for U, as in Y-O-U, and translates to diary. But it goes deeper than that, and that's where the confusion is, because really what it is, is, is it's what is important to you on that day. So, and, and then I read something else that says, write it as if you were, I don't know, someone famous, and you were writing it to your readers. But to write it like you were the celebrity. So that's where that comes in, is that you're the celebrity and you're writing your U-log, your one-a-day U-log, to your fans, which is really a neat concept. So to make it easier about what do you write about, you write about you. Well, even if you had a bad day, you still got something to write about, and that something is original. So, genius, don't you think? I do. I mean, you know, you can say, stay in your own niche, do this, do that, do that, do this, make sure you have formatting, make sure you have this, make sure you that, don't do this, don't do that, and then somebody puts out a meme, and it sucks, and I don't get it, and they make $200. Well, I'm like, what? Well, I, I, personally, I would rather see somebody telling me, and I've been looking at him, and this one girl, she rode, I don't know how far, but it was a long way, on the back of a motorcycle, her and her boyfriend, and to go visit a zoo, and uh, she took pictures of it on the way there and back, and then told about it, and, and it was really neat, because I live in the United States. I'm not going to get to the Philippines. I'm not going to get to Africa. I'm not going to get to those places. Do I want to see pictures and hear real life stories about it? Yeah, I do. I do. You know, and um, so, yes, so that was kind of a diary entry, but it was a travel entry. But it was from her perspective, and she laughed about her butt still hurting the next day. So, um, and if you did something that you really like at work that day that means something to you, that can be, you know, a, a you log too. If you found a new app and it made your life easier and you're telling about it in detail, not just, oh, I found this new app, <laughs> you know, see you later, bye. That's a, that's a you log too. So I think that's where a lot of the confusion comes in is, is that a U-log can run the gamut of all different posts. It's just that it's from your perspective, and it, it's what means the most to you. And yes, I'm very excited about this because it's an easy, it's a simple idea that nobody else thought of to help everybody in the world. Just think about that. It's a simple idea that somebody thought of to help everybody in the world, no matter who you are, no matter what you have. It is a way for them to help themselves. So that, and I don't want to get biblical, but if you, if you, Give a man a fish, he doesn't eat, you know, he eats for a day. Teach a man to fish, he never goes hungry again. It's the same principle. So, is there a learning curve? Absolutely. But if you look, you know, at my first post, in my post now, I had a learning curve too. You know, so, I'm trying not to say, you know, because then I have to cut it out. So, Some of these people that are on Steam It are trying. They're going to classes to learn how to do it. 
I, I just, I tear up when I think about it because it's such a positive thing for these people, for everybody, and it has been for me. Um, that I think that if we offer people encouragement, if you see something that's not quite right, but it's not plagiarized or anything, that maybe you could stop and give him some advice in a nice way. Um, and, and if they don't change, well, that's then you've done what you can. But try to have a little bit more of an open mind when you see the word you log. And that's kind of what I've been trying to do, is to get people to have a little bit more of an open mind when they see the word. And some people have no idea, and some people have preconceived ideas of what it was, and, and um, without knowing. And so I'm just trying to get the word out what they're really, really about. And I get a little choked up when talking about it because if you can help one person by writing something, I mean, that, that just makes, you know, me so happy. And this idea is to help everybody so that nobody is left out. Sorry to get real serious in the end, but it, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, yeah, that's my house behind me, but, you know, the inside, <laughs> it's a whole other story, you know. But I have a roof over my head, I have a house, and I have running water, which is more than most. And I have, I have, I have a maple tree, so... I can't ask for more than that. Um, you just can't. You take what you get. So, thanks for listening to me. And this is my new log for today. Have a great day, everybody. And now I'm going to go play my sounds. <laughs> oh, and yes, Marianne, I'll take my <laughs> selfie picture, too. Let's go with the positive. The positive is, is that my son got his his um, airplane tickets today. So um, the month of July, he's going to be here. So I'm very very excited about that. And um, and he's he's got to divide his time between families and and different things. But he's going to be here long enough that. He'll be here hopefully a couple of weeks staying at my house off and on. So I'm on and everybody that knows me knows I miss him terribly. And um, his wife, ladies, my daughter-in-law, is and she just is um, makes you happy and calm when you're when you're with her anyway.